Hello everybody, this is Also House Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Ori and the Will of the Wisps. In the previous episode, we started making our way through Quolox Hollow and had an encounter with a giant flaming beetle, which we beat the second time around. And thankfully, some of those Moki gave us a means of getting out of this pit, because otherwise we'd be trapped here. Technically, we didn't need that guy to do that. We could have just smashed it, but I'm guessing he's there on the off chance you uh, don't have a weapon to get through that. And unfortunately, I think we're going to have to keep going down and try to avoid getting hit by these. Ow. Ow. Of course, I do believe that means we're going to be getting a new ability that very soon that I wasn't expecting us to get until later. Yeah, here it is. You know, now that I think about it, ooh, bash. Gain a new ability, hold LB near lanterns, projectiles, or enemies to then aim to leap, or then aim to leap. Projectiles will be redirected. A very handy skill that you didn't typically get until later on. Anyways, uh, looking back at my footage, I need to turn down the music just a smidge. ta -da. Ow. Probably should have gone the other way. Hey, a bunch of more light we can use. And there are other areas we could get back to. Oh, and if you want to aim to projectile, bear in mind the arrow is the direction that Ori is going to go. And the back of the arrow is where the projectile will go. But yeah, handy little tool for getting around. As well as solving some puzzles. Ow. Okay, let's get a bit of healing going. But let's keep moving forward and try and find Quolock. Also, we can use it against these guys' projectiles. Now, hold up. Is this where I need to go? No. Matter of fact, I'm going completely the wrong direction. But I probably need to get Bash in order to get up through that area. And hey, if it's a dead end, that means a collectible. Which means another life cell. You can also use them to direct projectiles back at enemies. And you can also use them to bash enemies themselves. I believe we fought one of these guys before in that challenge. Ah, oh, jeez, I think I got a sneeze. Alright, we're good. And that is a giant spider. Uh, someone tells me we're going to be facing that. Oh, we got a dead end over here. Ooh, with a shard. What do we got? Splinter. Split arc shots into smaller projectiles. Meh. It's not really something I'm using beyond problem solving, or puzzle solving, I should say. Alright, well, seeing as how we reached a dead end, let's make our way back. Yeah, not quite enough. Oh yeah, we needed it to get up here. Mm, now the question is, how do I get up there? There we go. Ah, 
And here's how we ow, get back up there. Hmm. I thought that plant might have been something. Just seemed a little out of place for this area. Actually, I think it might probably be an ability for later. Silent Woods, huh? <clears throat> Didn't the monkey say that's where we needed to go? in my marsh? Though the Moki were right, I wanted to believe, but it has been so long. I am Quolok. You are welcome in my marsh, little one. The Moki tell me you seek your friend in Owlet. She fell far to the east. Silent woods hold her now. Whoa, where the owls are no more. Yikes. Once the waterway behind me led there, but the waters have grown foul and impassable. There is one way, however. The wellspring to the west, the great water mill, sits silent. Were you to set its wheels in motion, the waters would flow clear once more. I would accompany you, but the Moki need me. I can give you something, however. A fragment of the ancient light that once brightened these wilds. Hello? Its voice be your guide through this perilous land. Once more, we got a ball of light following us. I am the voice of the forest. It has been a long time since I last saw your kind. And a long time since I last left the marsh. But I will do my best. The wellspring needs us. Yes, go to the wellspring and teach its waters to flow again. And getting there is about as far as I got when I play through this myself. Voice of the forest, your maximum life and energy have increased. Ooh, sweet. Alright, so it looks like we have to go back here and then up this way. Yeah, may as well. We could consider backtracking and we are going to go buy a wellspring that could let us teleport around. Down to here, try and get some of the stuff that we could get by smashing things, now that we've got the hammer. There's also this ancient tree over here. Yeah. Ancestral tree over here we could try to go after. I think we needed Bash to get that. Yeah, why not? Let's see, how far is it? Yeah. 
Gotta go back that way anyways. Oh, we've also got these. Ooh, Mokis. Ah. It's never a bad idea to try backtracking once you get a new ability. Because it can lead you to new goodies. And new ways to die. And of course, wherever there were once bosses, there are now enemies. Mainly because of the fact that, well, the boss is no longer there, so there's nothing to scare them off. Now, I know that they want us to go that way, but... I say we go this way, or at the very least pick up that, what I'm willing to bet is a quest from that little one. You are not Moki, I can tell. Your ears are too floppy. I notice things, like this map I found. I would give it to Lupo the map, ma map maker, but he has enough maps. It should go to one who wanders, or the one who wanders. I hear he used to love maps. Maybe he would love this one. Could you give it to him? I saw him up in the Wellspring Glades. Sure, why not? Hand to hand. Why do we have the feeling that's going to end up becoming a uh, trade quest? Alright, now before we teleport, I may as well go set up the shard shop. I heard you saw the ghosts. There are other ghosts like that here and there. If that was fast, I would go race them all. Let's see, what do we got? Most damaged flying enemies? Nah. Finesse? Nah. Swap maximum life and energy? Nah. Nah. Let's go for some upgrades. Let's see, already got that fully upgraded. Let us... You know what? Let's reduce the damage we take. And of course, we're... Ouch. You know what, that one's on me. Let me make sure we still got that upgrade. Okay, now we're gonna take this. We're gonna warp. Yes, yes, I know. Uh, where was it? Here it is. Did, did we warp? No. Oh, I got a hold to warp. Okay, now that we're here, kind of wish I could place markers that could guide me where I want to go, but, oh well. Anyways, smash this out with our hammer. Ooh, and it's another combat shrine. Sure, why not? I like this hammer. Yeah, it's slow, but dang if it doesn't do a lot of damage. Ow. Idiots. As well as myself for forgetting that they explode. Generate. If 
I can hit them. These guys ain't too bad. Come on, get down here, you little shit. There we go. And it's one of these guys again. Okay, hammer. Best purchase I ever made. And we get... Another shard slot upgrade. Alright, which means I am going to equip Vitality. Getting a little extra health, because... Well, it never hurts. Ah, there is a limit to what regeneration can do. We just didn't have enough health to test that. Okay, that's a dead end. I can tell because there's that tree there. So let's head up this way. <laughs> uh, yep, still headed the right way. And now, let's break this... Well, let's deal with this guy first. Never mind. They both at the same time. We get some Gorlek ore. Get the feeling we're going to be needing that. Uh, you know what? Let's try heading to the left, see what we can get. I think that was an area we needed Bash for. And for obvious reasons, we didn't have Bash. Nope, we needed something to smash the wall open. Alright, no going up that way. to do. Okay, head up this way, and there's another life cell fragment. Okay, jump down onto the... Well, I was gonna say drop down onto the branch, but obviously that didn't happen. Okay, I think... There is this area up here, and I believe I've got the skills I need to get there, so I'll see you guys over there. Okay, so I know I said I was going to go back there, but then I found this with another life cell fragment, so hey. Right in here, I just noticed the wall as I was smashing it down, so it's a good thing I didn't have the ability to just jump up this way, because I would have missed that. Okay, if I'm right on this, what we need to do is we need to drop off of here. And try to not fall to our deaths, but what I need to do... Is drop off of the top of that, or bottom of that thing. And try to immediately dash over and reach that. Ow. I get the feeling this is going to require a whole lot of patience. Ah, uh, yep. Alright, I'm going to give it one last shot before I try coming back later. Perhaps with a shard that increases my jumping abilities. Oh, oh! 
Okay, I almost had it that time. So I know I said one more. Uh, okay, finally made it. I actually made it previously, but then fell off the branch for some reason. I don't know why. But yay, we got the energy cell fragment, which increases our maximum energy, which is always good. Now, I am going to make my way over here to where there's a breakable. Well, energy cell fragment, which I think is actually behind a breakable. I'll see you guys there. Okay, here we are, and yep. It's not breakable, which means there's got to be a switch somewhere around here that can raise it. Where that is, I have no clue. So, unfortunately, that energy cell is going to have to remain uncollected for now. But we can try going for this ancestral tree. Hopefully it only requires bash, and I'm not wasting my time, but I guess we'll find out. Okay, here, heading towards the Midnight Burrows. Let's see. Yep. I was right, we needed Bash for this. <laughs> and that's what I was talking about when it came to reflecting things back at your enemies, except I kind of needed that projectile to get over here. Oops. Oh, and you can't hold that indefinitely. Hmm. Let's hope I just went far enough away ah, that this thing respawns. You know what? Maybe dying will get it to respawn. There we go. Alright, head around this way. Hello. Say, what's that paper you got there? Squawk. Those crisp dotted lines, that bold X. That's a treasure map. Here, I'll swap you my wanderer's pouch for it. Something tells me I'll be needing a bigger bag. Yep, it's a trade quest. We found a new quest item. Small, but useful for adventurers. Question is, what do we get at the end of this whole quest line? Ah, welcome. You've come to the right time. I've just deciphered these stones. It may look like a jumble of rocks to the untrained eye, but to me, it's a key. See how some are long and some are short? They're notes to a song. I'm sure the song opens the gate to the midnight burrows. I'm just not sure how. Hmm. I think it's got something to do with these flowers. Let's see. Long, short, middle, middle, long, short, long? Long, short, middle, middle, long, short, long. Hey, I was right. Squark, you opened the way into the midnight burrows. Definitely done that. Sure, but before we head down there, which is way off the beaten path from where we need to go, oh. How do I open the way to the ancestral tree? Do I have to go down into the burrows?
give me one second. I want to make sure I'm doing going the right way to get that. Okay, so there is a tablet we can get in the burrows that will tell us how to open this. Now, I could just use what I'm reading right now to do that, but there is some stuff in here. Midnight burrows. Not what I had intended to be doing, but hey. Oh, portal puzzles. Ow, ow. I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to be in here yet. Ouch. Okay, let's try this again. By the way, apparently with at least the hammer and the proper timing, you can destroy those projectiles. That just kills all my momentum. As does that. Okay, so I need a few more keystones. Well, three more. Ooh, and there's a shard over there I could get. Ow. Okay, that got me over here. And nope, nothing up there. Ow. And that spat me out back here. Great, but how do I get up there? Hmm. Well, that's going to be something I'm going to have to figure out another time, because we are out of time for this episode. If you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for an upload, and please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.